Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to create a SAP ABAP CDS view and in that CDS view, uh, SAP HANA table function uh, will be used uh, because in some scenarios, uh, we may have very complex logic and we would like to push down this logical calculation uh, to the HANA database layer uh, to leverage the high performance of the HANA database. Um, so um, in that case, we may need to create a uh, SAP HANA table function and then that table function will be used in the CDS view. Uh, if you search on the website, you may uh, get a bunch of those information and step by step. So I have already some uh, this summarized these four steps here, um, how to create the uh, uh, CDS view, uh, which use the uh, table function. And another good place is like you can always go to the um, the SAP help document, and they have also the uh, sample code and uh, detailed information to show you how to create the table function and the AMDP class, which it will be used that table function, and also the CDS view. Okay, all right. Now uh, let's go step by step. Okay, so the first step is like. Uh, we need to create a table function because that table function will be used by the CDS view. And also, uh, you need to create the AMDP above managed uh, data procedure to achieve that table function. That's the step two. That's why. Okay. The third step is like uh, once we have the table function ready, you can create your CDS view, which will use that table function rather than a uh, very simple Slack statement. All right, and the last step uh, is to create a testing program to consume your CDS view and see if it works as expected or not. Okay, now let's go to the system and start with the first step, create a table function. As you may know, um, we have to use the uh, uh, ABAP development tool uh, we cannot use the traditional SAP GUI to create those like uh, CDS view and table function, okay? And uh, the table we're going to use in that table function is pretty simple. You see here we have a sample table with um, a few columns, right? So calendar month, city, spend, budget, currency, and country, okay? Suppose we are going to create a CDS view and um, with Within that CDS view, we're going to pass a parameter, let's see, calendar month, and that CDS view is going to return all the data for that given calendar month, okay? And then you can expand uh, those cases to other cases, right? But this just provides you a very straightforward uh, concept how we can do that, okay? So um, then the first step is like, we're going to create a table function. Right, so we go here and you can see the list. Um, it's called data service, data definition. I already created some one, but now I would like to go through this uh, from scratch again. So let's go to create new definition. And suppose we gonna name this uh, table function ZTF, get spent by month. So as I said before, and this table function gonna accept a parameter calendar month and then return all the data for that given month. Okay, so just give the descriptions get spent by month. Okay, so let's next step. This is a transport request for our case. I'm gonna put all this information in the local uh, uh, directory. So in our like uh, temporary uh, um, package or local package. Okay, so now you can see, and this gives you some like template you can choose. You can define the view, withdrawing, association, and other stuff. But our case is gonna first create the table function with a parameter. Now let's go to click finish, and this give you the table function name and this parameter we're gonna gonna have, right? And this is the return, like what you're gonna have for your return, like your your result date. Okay. So in order to um, save some time, I have already created some some test link. Um, some, some code already so I can just like simply copy and paste here okay so I just copy here and go back all right so 
just remove this duplicate one okay and you can see we have this table function and this is the name and this is the parameter we're going to use the parameter uh, iv underscore calendar month this means okay this is calendar month you're going to give me a, a value right and this is the tab so once you tap the ebop you put dot you can have um like the list of the a predefined data type okay in our case we have the car and the length is six okay and this one the returns actually it's going to return the columns you are interested right in our case we're going to return calendar month country city span and the currency along with their data type okay so this is along with like this raw table right so now let's go here again okay, okay. I cannot click yeah so here we go um now um and also you may notice so this table function will be implemented by a class method uh, called ZLC AMDP and this is class uh, method so I can make a little bit change so this is a class right and I can give a demo one probably I just want to make sure if I have any class defined like that um, if I go to the class no I don't have so I'm gonna have this uh, class ZCO underscore AMDP demo one and in this class we have to define a class method get spent by month and this method actually will be invoked by this table function okay but for now we have already defined our table function we can activate okay? if you right click and activate All right, you can see um, our like, table function activity. Okay, um, the next section step is like we have to define a class. Okay, and within that class, we have defined a class method get spent by month. Right now, let's go to this class and right click a new EPUB class. And what we're gonna do is like that. See, yeah, it's here already, and this is the uh, class. Um, to implement the table function, right? Uh, I can just give up the MDP demo one, okay? And uh, same thing, we put everything in our local package, okay? Um, so we save, and see this is the class, right? And you have the class definition and implementation. So uh, we have to um, um, uh, change this a little bit so that this can be used by our table function. Um, same, I have already um, uh, created some sample code here. So I can just copy and paste, then we can take a look. So, all right, so if I go back here and this is a public section, right? And you know, like in the uh, uh, class definition, we have to put the like, the inter how to use the interface. And this interface is mandatory because all the AMDP class you have to use this interface so that you can create those like the class method and then call the HANA database and for some table function. Alright. And see so here we're gonna give the class method and get spent by month for table function. So this table function is actually the the one we just created here, right? So this class method is for that table function so if you click here this some give you some error message so um implementation is missing yeah we haven't done the implementation this is just the uh, definition okay so two main things or three main things first um interface here is mandatory the second part is like your result type or we call it like um the the table is going to return with all the result data right so as we decide so this is uh, to be aligned with this one so you have calendar month country city spend currency so here same thing you have calendar month country city spend currency right and then we have we move to the implementation so we're gonna give uh, or define the implement implementation for this class method so again I have this method ready here I just um, copy and paste so let's 
go here, copy and paste here. Okay, as you can see, this is a class method. Um, um, this is uh, by uh, the database function. And you see, we're gonna return um, this select statement, right? And here we have um, the parameter you're gonna use. And this parameter is defined here already. See, we have IV, IV underscore kill months. So we have used that one uh, as a parameter in the select statement. So this gives you a pretty simple statement, but you can write uh, a pretty complex logic here too. All right. Um, okay, now we are done with our AMDP class. Now let's activate. All right, this class activated. So the third step is once we have the table function and the MDP class, which is used to implement that table function ready, we can define our final CDS view. And that CDS view, uh, instead of selecting data from a raw table, we're gonna select data from this table function, all right? So now we go here and create new data definition, we give this um, the name of the uh, CDS view, right? And we can put CDS view um, get spent by month. Okay, this is a description. And we click finish. Um, I think I, I, I missed a step. I'm gonna delay this one and uh, repeat again because this one use actually the table function, it's not CDS view. So I have to delete and try it again. I did it too quick. This just remember what I did before. So I put it here and see this view. Next, next. So here you see um, the system by default remember the, my last selection, okay? But this time, rather than creating the table function, we would like to create a view with parameter. And this is a template. So now we click finish. And then this is the template. I just need to tweak this a little bit so that I'm gonna call our table function directly. Okay, again, I have my code ready here. Um, I just copy here and paste in in our like the system directly. Okay, uh, I think I start from here. Right. So you're gonna see here in this CDS view, we also need a parameter because the underlying table function has a parameter, right? So we have to pass this parameter to the underlying table function. And see, we have the select from this table function and this table function has a parameter IV underscore uh, C-L-M-O-N, okay? And this can accept this parameter from this CDS view, right? And this is our return the data. All right, um, so once we're done here, we just right click and activate. All right, so far we have created the table function, the AMDP class, which uh, was used in that table function to select the data from HANA database table and also we have our uh, CDS view defined here, okay? So now the last step is to create a testing program to test our CDS view, see if it works or not. Now let's go to our program and we can right click and click a new eBar program, okay? So let's do this I give a new name um, probably I have this new name again. I'm gonna delete this one and create a new one. Okay, this one doesn't exist. Probably I have already deleted already. Okay, now let's create a new one. So I have AMDP or I can call it, um, yeah, C, CDS demo2, okay, CD, CDS view consumer. All right, 
next finish okay um, so this is a program we're gonna write a very simple program here to consume our CDS we just defined so again I have our program ready here I just copy and paste to save some time okay so this one you see um, we have the type here and then we have the uh, a parameter month right and default month is uh, 2015 July all right and then we're gonna select from our CDS view see this is our CDS view right and this is exit uh, uh, the, the sign and because this is parameter pushed down all the way to the home database and we're gonna put all the data to the internal table then we're gonna loop that internal table and print out all the columns defined in that uh, CDS view all right so now let's activate All right, uh, so the program activated successfully. Okay, now um, let's just run this program and test if uh, this program works uh, or the whole things we did uh, works as expected. Okay, now let's run this one. Okay, sorry, my bad. I, I think I need to run this one, not uh, this demo. So I run this one as a ABAP application, okay? So you're gonna see um, by default is 2015 July. So if we keep this one run, okay? It gives us all the data we need. So calendar month, country, city, state, and currency. This is exactly aligned with our CDS view we defined here, right? These columns. And the same thing, um, the table function is the uh, one which provides data to the CDS view, right? So now let's just do one more test. I change a parameter to uh, uh, 2015 August, okay? It works. It then returns all the data for the month uh, August in the year 2015. All right, um, I hope uh, after this video, you have a pretty good understanding of how we create a CDS view. Um, which use a table function. Alright, thanks for watching.